on this episode of uh uh-uh, uh email edition uh-huh um i i stopped reading mid email because uh-uh y'all ready hey nanny q i'm emailing you because at this point i don't know what i need to do i'm in love with my wife's sister uh-uh my wife travels a lot for her job and i understand that i'm a stay-at-home father we have two beautiful kids my wife's sister came to live with us a few months ago. That's your sister-in-law. After her husband passed away. They were only married for a week and he had a heart attack in his sleep. She said it was too hard for her to live in the house, so she's been staying here with us. I'm not going to lie, she has been a tremendous help. She's been making sure to help out with the kids. She's been helping with little stuff I have to do around the house. And she also makes sure that I get the time that I need by myself. Me being a stay-at-home father, I actually never get a break because I'm always with the kids. My wife is the breadwinner. I have no problem with that. But I'm still a man and I still need attention. We don't go on dates. We don't do anything. When she's in town, it's normally only for a few days, and those days she's so tired and exhausted that we're never able to do anything. When it comes to money, my wife takes care of everything. I don't want for anything. There's nothing I can't buy and I can't have. I have a car with no limit on it. That's not the problem. I want my wife. I want to cuddle with her at night. I want to hold her. I want to put my face between... Oh, I ain't read that far down. I want to put my face between her legs. I want to do things that husband and wife do together. But I can't because she's always working. Lately, since her sister's been here, we've been really getting close. We look at movies together. We cook dinner together. We do things with the kids outside of the home together. It's like she's my... It's like she's the perfect wife for me. Mm-mm. We even kissed one time. It was by mistake. We were drinking some wine, looking at a movie, and the people on the movie were making out. I was lay I was laying back on the couch and her sister turned around and she just kissed me. And then she ran off and said she was sorry. She just missed her husband. I told her it was okay and I wasn't gonna tell her sister anything. That's your first mistake. I told her I wasn't gonna tell her sister anything. Things did get awkward for a minute, but after that, everything went back to the same. Lately, her sister has been walking around the house wearing very short shorts and no bra. (laughs) And I just really want to bend her, oh, bend her over on the counter and whoop her and tell her how of a naughty girl she is. What? Sir. These are the things that I think about every time she walks around in those little bitty shorts and this little crop top. And you can see when her nipples are hard. I know she might be doing it on purpose, but she's getting the attention. She's giving me the attention that I need. My wife calls and asks how everything is going. I always make it seem like it's just so great. I try not to burden her to tell her that I miss her and I need to touch her and the things that I want to do to her. When she does come home the sex is horrible normally she wants me to do all the work and she's a pillow princess and i'm tired of it i want somebody to finally show me some attention we were supposed to go out for our anniversary but she had a work trip i didn't say anything about it a few weeks later she told me that we were going to go away for two weeks and her sister was going to watch the kids that never happened do I get a divorce just so I can start dating her sister? Or do I sit down with my wife and tell her how I feel? Baby, if you don't sit down with that woman and tell her how you feel, man. Hey, man, don't, don't, don't. The sister walking around the house with some shorts. Of... Hey, man, don't let temptation mess up your life. Don't let temptation mess up your life.